Hey everybody, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health, and with me right now I have Max Kurtz. He's the Chief Technologist for Bayer's G4A Partnerships Program. Hey Max, how's it going? Hi everyone, great. Thanks a lot for being on the show. All right. Thanks. So Max is really involved in the G4A Partnership selection process right now, and so he's stopped all the work he's doing, and he's going to give us some tips and some tricks for how you guys can apply out there and answer any questions that you might have. So Max, to jump right in, um, first thing that I think everybody's noticed who's looked at the new G4A.Health website is that the program has changed. So real quick, talk to us about what's changed and why. Absolutely. So it's changed quite a bit since last year. So we had the Accelerator and the Dealmaker last year. This year we've merged all together into two tracks. So one is the Growth Track and the other one is the Advanced Track. Growth Track is pretty much like the Accelerator last year. So we still give a lot of support to our startups that are applying. We're kind of looking for startups that are in the MVP phase between seed and Series A stage. Okay. Uh, giving investments as well as also other support such as mentoring and business advice. And then the advanced track is really for companies that are in the growth phase. So past Series A that want to partner and fit within our business challenges that we've devised and you can find on our website. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about, let's start with the business challenges part of this and we'll go back to the, the back to the, the, the true accelerator, the, the early stage stuff. So with the business challenges, tell me a little bit about those. They're in a lot of different focus areas. How many focus areas are there and, and how spot on do the startups need to be in terms of meeting the requirements of those challenges? Give us an example. Absolutely. So there are 11 uh, focus areas right now. So they okay. range through the entire spectrum of what Bayer has in terms of therapeutic areas such as ophthalmology, cardiovascular or radiology. And some of these challenge areas are very, very specific. So there, we really sat down with the various business functions to devise, you know, what are our key business challenges that we can't solve ourselves and we need technology from outside that can really solve this. And so some are a little bit broader that give, um, you know, a lot of solutions, a lot of space to kind of apply and, and kind of pitch their ideas. Others are very specific to a specific niche. Okay. With some of them, just really quickly, I'm curious, you know, if a startup has a use case in one therapeutic area, but not in the therapeutic area that the challenge is specifically asking for, like, let's say they've got something and it's, it works in cardiac, but it, you're asking for it and it could be applied to oncology. What should they do? Can they apply for that? Or like, do you need, do you need specific um, demonstration of the MVP in that therapeutic? Actually, the more that they can apply to it, the better. So we okay. really like, like if you have sort of cross-functional support and if there's anything unclear then please do reach out to us we're here to help and advise you on anything that you could apply to okay and for those early stage startups i know you said that they're kind of like at that mvp stage so it's like it, it, even there there's a little bit of ambiguity that you guys can have and help kind of nurture as the program goes along right absolutely so like mvp products you know usually that means that you already have validate your product to some extent um usually technology is in a state where you can give it to uh, patients or your clients, but you may not be making any revenue yet or have not clients in, the, in, the, um, in your pipeline. So this is where we come in, help you kind of go to market, um, help you with the regulation, and then give you any kind of support that our executive, executive mentors can give you. Okay, so tell me about the benefits from a startup standpoint. So like they get obviously the mentorship of, you know, Bayer executives as they help move along in either track. But like specifically, like, I mean, I know there's a lot of questions about like how much money they get or what kind of deals does it mean that they get with Bayer? Do they have access to your whole client base? And what are they giving up for that? Are they giving up equity in their businesses or how does that work? Absolutely. I mean, this is quite different between the two tracks that we have. For the growth track, they do give away equity for in form of a convertible note, which could range between 50 to 100K uh, euros. And this is really startup friendly. So they have the first right of refusal. Um, really, it comes in the form of um, a very easy format of transferring money. In addition to the, um, the expert mentoring that they get, um, we also give advice around how do you enter the market, any kind of regulatory, regulatory certi certificates that they might need, um, so we really want to make sure that we can give the best support to let them grow and enter the market. And then obviously for advance, um, here we really made a lot of work or put in a lot of work in our due diligence, our selection process to ensure that if you reach the end of our process, you're guaranteed to be a client for Bayer. 
So this could be in a lot of different forms. So co-promotion, branding, co-development. This is really down to negotiation and how you fit within the business challenge. Okay, so for that advanced track, it really is very bespoke in terms of like the agreement that's uh, that's negotiated between the comp the startup company and between Bayer. Is that right? Totally. So we're really okay. about mutual benefit. You know, we really want to make sure that it works for you. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, okay. So talk me through, I guess, real fast, the logistics of this. So, I mean, applications are closing when? Applications are closing on the 31st of May. We are reviewing applications on a weekly basis. So mm. the more you submit, the more time you can spend on it and really make sure that it fits and maybe even give us advice. Ah, so good. Okay. Hit the submit button as soon as you can. Yeah, so apply early so you get some exactly. advice. Like, hey, you'd be great if only. Like, give, yeah, give Bayer a chance. Okay, no, absolutely, so then, yeah. Okay, so then after the application's closed, then what happens? Then you'll be reviewed by the G4A team and then various experts, experts that we pull in based on the various business challenges that you apply to. So this could be from oncology or even regulatory, for example. After that, um, if you pass through, you will be asked to enter um, a little bit more information around your regulatory certificates, any patents that you might have, just a little bit to, you know, kind of like round up your application. Mm -hmm. And then um, there'll be a final selection process where um, the various business heads will decide whether they'd like to invite you or not. And then from there, you get invited, um, you get to sit down with the various business functions and really nail out and work out that deal. Okay, and so let me ask you a quick question. Are how do you guys have like a number in mind of the of like how many startups are you looking to get? Like in both, like do you even have a number in mind, or is it just one of those like if there are great solutions out there, we'll take them all, you know, as long as it's manageable, or is it are you trying to fit like a certain number in in terms of who you engage? We don't have a particular number in mind. It okay. really comes down to how fit do you, how well do you fit to the business challenge, and if it works. Good. Okay. And so really that ultimate decision maker, like you said, the business head, that's the person who's responsible for that business challenge. Yeah. I mean, we really want okay. to show that there's a clear business use case. And this is mm -hmm. not just to kind of get you into partnerships and then it may not work. We really want to foster long and lasting partnerships that last for several years. And this is vital to do so. So really it's kind of like boot camp for getting a getting a relationship with Bayer, no matter which way you look at it. Cause I mean, you're really focused on the business challenge. So it, 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 a lot of times I think people look at the G4A program and it's like, oh, it's an accelerator, but it's like, it is an accelerator, but not really, not in the traditional sense. It's essentially an accelerated way to bring you in front of the right people within Bayer within a very large corporation and then start working with them, right? Awesome. So like, we've done the work to kind of like understand what they want so you can partner with them. You're the way in. Is what That's it exactly is. Right. You're the way in and the pathway inside. Awesome. All right. Well, Max, tell us one last time. Everybody can go take a look at all of the challenges. Everything is on g4a.health. That's the website, correct? Go to g4a.health. Look at the various challenges. If there's anything that's unclear, do hit us up. We're happy to email help. this guy. He knows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, no, more than really happy to help. And then, yeah, submit anytime. Um, we are more than happy to review and then also support, support you in this way. Awesome. All right. All you startups out there, you know what to do now. And if you have any questions, you can hit up Max. You can hit up the rest of the G4A team. Again, the website is g4a.health. Max, thanks so much for talking with us. It's a pleasure to hear what's going on at Bayer. And I'm, it's really exciting to see how this is all going to unfold. Can't wait. Me neither. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks a lot.